Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. It's September already, final quarter of the year. I can't believe it really. Um, it's a bit miserable coming back from holiday and knowing there isn't really another holiday until Christmas and uh, dealing with the darker nights already, and darker mornings in fact. But um, reasons to be cheerful, new fragrances. It's a while since I've spoken to you here on YouTube about um, perfume, fragrance, um, a passion of mine. Uh, and I would say that in the last, uh, well, definitely since last Christmas, because I still haven't spoken to you about the enormous range of samples I got from Byredo, um, to try and narrow down my favourites. I will do that when I've got a bit more time. I have been making notes, don't worry. Um, certainly from that time, probably actually from this time last year, I've definitely been looking to expand my perfume collection, um, partly because I have gradually got to the end of a lot of Chanel exclusive fragrances that I had um over a number of years I bought those and I've been using them up and not really replacing them um I still have a couple with a few drags left and I always have uh, number five and cocoa um I've got a few other fragrances on the go but I haven't really bought anything new for a long time and just fancied a bit of a change one of the ranges I looked at, I would say probably about this time last year, was uh, Victoria Beckham. Whenever she um, launched the new fragrance range, which was three um, fragrances supposedly reflecting different aspects of her life. Um, and you can get the frightfully expensive you can pay for samples and you do um get some with various makeup purchases so i've had several samples of all three um the one that i had initially is this blue one which is a portofino one um i'm not going to talk about that today just put it there for a bit of visual interest and then um the yellow one, I can't remember what that's even called, um, San Isidro, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, Drive, somewhere in California. Um, I'm going to talk about Sweet 302 today, because I've dithered about whether I like this perfume or not for a long time. All of them have um, very tempting kind of write-ups on the website, this is supposed to remind you of an alluring rendezvous um, full of intoxicating glamour, um, weekends in Paris. Uh, and she's supposedly named it after some place she and David stayed at um, in various sexy weekends in Paris. Um, if you know the backstory to or the alleged backstory to their relationship eyebrows might be raised but that's another story isn't it and they're very litigious so I will say no more however um this fragrance is described as a woody floral amber so <laughs> it's all happening there but what made me want to try it initially um more than it being Victoria Beckham to be honest although I do actually really rate a lot of her makeup and skincare range particularly her skincare range um, I think she does team up with good people and um, the person she's teamed up with as the nose of this fragrance is a chap called Jerome, uh, I think Epinette, Epinette. Um, and what I know about him is that um, he is involved in the creation of quite a lot of the Byredo fragrances and I often like them. I don't think there's a single one that I haven't liked to some degree. I think they're really interesting um, fragrances and I'm going to talk about them more fully on another occasion. 
Um, but yeah, so he was the nose for Suite 302. Um, and yeah, what are the notes? They are said to be top notes of black cherry and red peppercorn. Uh, central notes of rose, centifolia and violet. Uh, and then um, leather and tobacco and musk as the base. Um, I should say that Epignette is known particularly for how he mixes patchouli and sandalwood um, with a deft hand so that even people like me who often are not that keen on patchouli uh, often like his fragrances. Now, this one... I would say you, I, I think it's a very strong fragrance. It's definitely unisex. Um, I think it leans more to the masculine than the feminine, although I, I think many women would be very comfortable wearing it. Um, but I think um, a man would feel it was um, a masculine fragrance as well. That's partly because it's very heavy on um, tobacco and leather, I think, particularly in the initial blast. Um, to me, it almost smells a bit like oud, um, a, a mild oud, which can be, you know, very powerful. Um, you get a bit of a floral hit quite soon afterwards. Possibly almost a fruity hit, although I wouldn't be able to identify it as cherry. But there's a very long last on this fragrance. Ultimately, I have to say, although normally I'm complaining that fragrances don't last long on me, it's almost too much. It's one of those lasts where you can have a shower and a bath and you can still smell it or you can still smell the dry down. The dry down is less masculine, I would say. And... It, it's quite nice. There's a kind of sweetness to it, but it can be a bit sickly, a bit kind of, there's still the tobacco. I saw one review which said it smelt like stale ashtray. I, I don't get that. Um, but hours and hours into the dry down when you can still smell it, ultimately, I don't really love this one, which is why I'm not going to um, buy a full size of it but it is an interesting fragrance it's um you know a particularly good one if you do like tobacco leather because it's not it's not too heavy on those it's it's wearable often I can find the leather very bitter and um pungent uh and I think the way the the floral has been kind of interleaved into that is quite clever um they're really expensive, these. I think about 170 quid for the smallest bottles. So I think you really, really have to like it um, to want to buy it. Um, but worth having a spray if you're... Um, I haven't seen it on display anywhere, but I don't really go into um, shops to look at cosmetics and fragrance anymore. I used to. Um, you can, as I say, you tend to get the free samples with purchases or you can buy um, a box of the purchases, which of the um, samples, which are decent size samples. So, you know, worth doing if you are interested. Um, hint of the three. This is my favourite. Um, I haven't actually checked if it's the same nose. I suspect it is. I'm going to talk about... Um, Portofino um, 97 on a separate occasion, so we're not overloaded with fragrance. But um, those are my thoughts on Victoria Beckham's Suite 302, 302, 302. I don't know how she would say it. Um, it it's expensive um, for what it is, but it is interesting and deserves to do pretty well and kudos to Victoria for always um, choosing good people to collaborate with. So uh, I will hopefully get back to speak to you about other fragrances. I've got a lot of them um, soon if you enjoy these sorts of 
videos. Um, if you've got to the end, give me a thumbs up. Um, love to hear if anyone else has tried this one and what you think. And I shall speak to you soon. Bye for now.